Hi friends, good morning all of you. My name is Vaishnavi Subhash Kulkarni. I am a M.Tech student from VIT University Chennai. Today I am going to explain the topic hybrid operating system or hybrid kernel operating system. As we all know the operating system manages the hardware and the software and kernel is the important part of the uh, operating system. So the hybrid kernel operating system uh, is, form of, uh, the, is formed by the two uh, operating system that is the monolithic kernel and the micro kernel. It combines all the benefits and aspects of the micro kernel and the monolithic kernel. Uh, so, we have seen that the kernel is an important part. Uh, kernel is said as the heart of the operating system. The operating system consists of the two parts that is the kernel space and the user space. And there are two concepts of the kernel that are the monolithic and the micro kernel. So, the hybrid uh, so in this uh, in this section we will see what is meant by the monolithic kernel and the micro kernel and how it is combined to make the hybrid operating system. So this is the basic structure of the monolithic kernel based operating system. Monolithic kernel operating system runs uh, every basic system service in the kernel space. So as shown in the diagram the user space and the kernel space is shown, uh, shown below that the hardware is there. So in the user space only the application program and the library functions are present. Whereas in the kernel uh, space, all the file system, inter-process communication, input-output device management, all the process management uh, is carried out. So the services and the programs are run in the uh, kernel space in the monolithic kernel operating system. So this operating system is having many disadvantages or drawbacks. The drawbacks are the size of the kernel, the lack of the extensibility and the maintainability. So uh, as we have seen in the uh, figure, the kernel size is uh, bigger as uh, compared to the micro kernel operating system in this because all the processes are run in the kernel space. So it is, uh, it is not easy to manage the uh, processes running in the kernel space. Um, so to avoid this drawback, uh, we can use the micro kernel. The micro kernel uh, was used to reduce the basic process communication and the input output control and let the other system services to reside in the user space rather than in the kernel space. Normally all the processes reside in the user space while running or while execution. So this is the structure of the micro kernel based operating system. As we can see the user space and kernel space is separated and below that the hardware. The structure is same as the monolithic kernel. The difference is that in the user space application program and libraries are present but uh, also with these two functions all the file system uh, process management uh, inter process communication process server pager drivers etc are present here so the process is running or the services that are uh, being uh, run they they reside in the user space rather than in a kernel space in the kernel space only micro kernel is present so the size of the kernel is slow so the execution is faster in the micro kernel based operating system so now this is the combined diagram of the micro kernel operating system and the uh, this is the um, combined diagram of the hybrid ker kernel which is formed by the monolithic kernel and the micro kernel based operating system in this the user space and kernel space is there bear that the hardware the structure is same as we have seen uh, before the in the user space, the application pro programs are there, the library functions are there, the file server is there, the Unix server is there, and in the kernel uh, mode, the inter-process communication is carried out between the application as well as the basic processes. Device drivers are present, virtual memory scheduling, all the processes are carried out in the kernel mode. Below the hardware is present. So the hybrid operating system is formed by the combination of the uh, two um, kernels, that is the micro kernel and the monolithic kernel. So we have seen the diagrams of the uh, hybrid kernel and all of the these two that is the micro kernel. So we can conclude that the uh, hybrid kernel is the combination of these two kernels and by using the benefits uh, means by combining the benefits and by avoiding the drawbacks of uh, the monolithic kernel and by using the benefits from the micro kernel the hybrid operating system is formed. Thank you.